previously on the Tour de Mont Blanc series. We hiked one of the most beautiful stretches of the Tour de Mont Blanc with a constant view of massive mountains. Right before we were getting ready to cross a 2500 meter high mountain pass to reach Switzerland, a big storm flew over our head, which meant we couldn't cross it and had to find another way. Luckily we got some trail magic as Dane's brother drove us to the other side of the mountain. Thanks for saving our lives. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice, nice. to meet you. In 10 episodes we will take you around the Mont Blanc Massif through France, Italy and Switzerland. This is the Tour de Mont Blanc. Good morning! It's our first day in Switzerland. Yeah, yesterday unfortunately because of the storm we couldn't do the high mountain pass to get into Switzerland from Italy, the Ferret Pass. But today luckily the weather is way better. Yeah, and big shout out to Chris, Dane's little brother. Thanks for saving our lives. Yeah, you're welcome. He was our trail angel yesterday. Yeah, and until the storm the trail was absolutely amazing. So make sure to check that one out. Luckily today's weather is really good as you can see and we have quite an easy walk. It's considered the easiest hike of the TMB. 18 kilometers and it's a valley walk so it's a great introduction to Switzerland. Okay, so the weather actually is turning a little bit bad this afternoon, like we expect it to be really sunny, but uh, a lot of people are taking a bus actually. We are walking and just preparing for if it's going to turn up to be stormy. We have a rain gear and we have a GoPro ready to go, but we're just going to walk, right Alette? Yes, that's part of the game as well. You can't only walk with like good weather, so we exactly. have to prepare for it. Yeah, we're not walking on high elevations today, just in a valley, so if the weather turns bad, we find some shelter and we're all right. We're now 15 kilometers in of our hike and so far it has been really beautiful, right? Yeah, it is. And we're now at the point where the climb will start to Champagne Lock. A little bit further than Champagne Lock is our hut. Yes, it's a climb of 500 meters. So it should take about one hour, maybe one and a half and then we're there. 
Yeah, and a lot of people, by the way, predicted that there will be like thunderstorms and rain in a couple of hours, which we said this morning, but it turned out to be a beautiful day actually. Yeah, and we don't see any dark clouds yet, so I think we will get to the hut without any rain on our roads. What, 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 without any rain on our heads. When we reached the hut, we were very hungry. Luckily, this place is supposed to have the best cheese fondue of the whole region. So we had to try that, of course. On the next episode of the Tour de Mont Blanc series, we're facing a very technical and wet climb on our way towards Bovine, where there should be an amazing view of the mountains. This should be a really panoramic view with like lots of mountain ranges behind us. But as you can see, we're into the mystic. Despite the mist, it is still a beautiful descent. And when the weather clears up, we even got a first glimpse of the Triang Glacier. 